The search for survivors of the Japanese earthquake and tsunami is continuing. At least 10,000 people are feared to have been killed in one state alone in the disaster. Millions of others have been left without drinking water, electricity and food along the northeastern coast. The Japanese Prime Minister, Naoto Kan, described the devastation in his country. In the 65 years after the end of World War II, this is the toughest and the most difficult crisis for Japan in that period. New footage has emerged of the rescue of a 60-year-old man who was found nine miles off the coast of Fukushima Prefecture. The man was swept away in the tsunami but survived after climbing onto the roof of his house where he attracted the attention of rescuers. Officials say Hiromitsu Shinkawa is in good health after being taken to hospital by helicopter. A radiation leak at a facility in Onagawa in Japan has forced the country to declare a state of emergency. But the safety agency there says there's no problem with the cooling process and that the rise in levels is linked to another plant in a neighboring state. It comes after the government warned there could be a second explosion at the Fukushima plant, which was damaged during Friday's earthquake. Up to 160 people who were waiting to be evacuated from the area may have been exposed to radiation. Operators are hoping to prevent a meltdown by cooling the system with seawater. Colonel Gaddafi's forces continue to make inroads into rebel-held territory in Libya. Heavy shelling by government troops has forced dozens of rebels to flee from the town of Brega in the east of the country. Rebels now fear that Benghazi, the stronghold of the resistance, will soon be bombarded by government troops. Police in Bahrain have clashed with anti-government protesters in the capital, Manama. Hundreds of demonstrators blocked the highway to the city's financial center. Police used tear gas and water cannon to try to move the demonstrators away. Mainly Shia protesters have been holding daily vigils to demand political reforms from the mostly sunny rulers.